What's up guys? Welcome to lesson one, three properties. Okay, let's do it. So first it says the product of odd numbers is always even true or false. So my strategy in, in this case is let's just start trying some examples out and see if we can disprove it then it's easy. So let's just think of two odd numbers. Let's try three times five, both odd. Three times five is 15. So that means the product of these two odd numbers that we just randomly tried is odd. Well, that means that the product of odd numbers is can't always be even. So this statement is therefore false, done. Now let's go to this guy. Now we're saying name the property, right? We're talking about commutative, we're talking about associative property. Here, what we're looking at is we're having five, some, some entity, it doesn't matter that it's 5K, times one and then equaling itself. Now this is very specifically the identity property, multiplicative identity. So we're talking about, when, we, when we're talking about multiplicative identity, it's basically where we're showing that any number or quantity times one is simply itself. That's what this is showing. All right, next we go to simplify. So what's going on here? We got a four times a X times a two. So what happens is numbers are gonna go ahead and multiply numbers, but that X is just gonna stay there just like it, it if it was an apple. So what I mean by that is inside we'd be like, oh, we've got two apples. And now we're multiplying those two apples by four. So that means we now have eight apples or eight X. So the variable stays in there, but now the coefficients, the numbers are the ones that actually multiply each other. All right, now let's go on to 42. Now again, we're, we're converting words to expressions. The product of 11, I will start by writing stuff down. We can even underline this a little bit of 11. So when we're talking about product, we're talking about multiplication. The product of 11 and five times a number multiplied by four. The product of 11, and we're gonna put this in parentheses, this next part, because I know it's gonna be big. And five times a number, let's start with that. Five times a number, I'll just say X, you can say whatever you want. Five times a number multiplied by four. Okay, you see how that all works? So I got every single piece now in there. So this whole number is multiplied by four. And now we just want to simplify, meaning we go ahead and carry out all this multiplication. So first, what is four times five? That is 20X. And we still got that 11 lingering on the outside. What's 11 times 20? You can write it out if you want. I like to do it like this. I like to say 10 times 20 is 200 plus one times 20, which is 20. So we end up with 220X and done. 